Hey there, it's Toasty Fresh and uh, welcome back to my little gaming corner and this time out the video is a little bit of a departure because it's got absolutely nothing to do with gaming for once and that's because I wanted to do another little subject which I've just hit upon where the collecting bug is a uh, bit of me well and truly <coughs> And it's a new little thing I've just latched onto, which I've uh, started buying a lot of. And I'll just broach on that subject very shortly. But it's kind of in the same mode as my gaming collecting. And like a lot of other people, maybe like you as well, my uh, gaming collecting is because of having good memories of uh, certain games that I played back in the day that uh, I really enjoyed playing, like the Final Fantasies, Dark Clouds... Um, and all the different PS1 games that I played and things like that. You know, you had great memories associated with them, so you kind of want to look back at the games. And also for me, it's going back and get and uh, playing the games that I missed, that I never caught the first time around. And uh, now I want to go and, you know, catch what I missed out on. Uh, with only being young and not being able to afford the games at the time. So that's part of the reason. And this the new collecting bug is the very... Um, same mold and that is the sticker book and this is the Premier League uh, 2015 sticker book and it's a twofold reason uh, that I started collecting this one is because uh, like I said nostalgia uh, another reason which if I can just find us is because Burnley my team are in the Premier League again, which I didn't expect to happen anytime soon when we had that amazing season last season and we got promoted in second place in an automatic spot. Nobody saw it coming a mile off at the beginning of the season. We've been written off as relegation candidates to go the other way. And seeing us back in the Premier League, that was one big reason to get on because I thought, well, when I saw it in the, the shop I was in, Tesco, I thought... Hey, do you know what? I'm going to get one of those. And the second reason was because I used to collect these as a kid. I used to buy these and I used to go to my primary school. And it was one of those crazes that hit our school, as well, amongst the boys anyway, as well as uh, other great 90s uh, trends like the Tamagotchi and uh, Pogs and Yo-Yos, the ones with the flashing and the suspension and things like that. It was... It was one of the f crazes that hit our school amongst uh, the boys anyway. And you used to take all your swaps into school and things like that. And it's just another thing that I had great memories of. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to uh, relive it and uh, go and buy one. And if I'm, uh, you know, you may tell me to grow up, but I thought, you know what, it's just in a bit of fun. Plus, one thing that I do uh, do as well is sometimes after games, if I can... I'll stay behind and I'll get the players' signatures and things like that. Like the last game, I got quite a few good signatures. Uh, QPR, we played QPR, and uh, I got a good uh, couple of uh, QPR signatures as well. Players that I, um, I admire or have been in the game for a long time. I got a few signatures of, of them. Like I got Charlie Austin because, yeah, you know, he taunted us a bit in that game and there's been things said. But he's got a hell of a lot of goals for us. So I got his signature. And uh, I got Glenn Hoddles. Because he was an England manager and things like that. So that was a great signature to get. And Bobby Zamora. Because he's played for England as well. So it, that was a kind of neutral thing. And uh, I also got High Redknapps. Because he's just a big figure in the game. Love him or love him. He's, you know, he's been a manager for a great number of years now. So that was a good one to get. And uh, anyway, I thought what I'd do with this video as well is forget your FIFA and uh, the little pack openings that everyone does. I'm going to do some real life pack opening right here, right now on uh, the sticker book and uh, share with you the excitement of seeing what I've got. Because I've been really annoyed at the minute I've not got a Burnley player in my sticker book. I've got the kit and I think I've got an... Uh, Thing that shows like the mat it shows a match that you've been in because this must have come out just after the season started because it's got like your team in action in the Premier League from this season so the first couple of games like ours was Man United I've got half of that so let's see who I've got uh, I've got half of the uh, Tottenham 
Uh, team Photo. Oh, pretty good one. Uh, England defender. Well, ex England defender now. John Terry. Big player. Um, not a Chelsea fan, but you got to admire him. He's played a lot of games for England and played a hell of a lot of games for Chelsea. Um, I've got a Man United player. David De Gea. David De Gea. Coming a real good keeper. I didn't know what to think of him when he first joined United, but he's going to prove a lot of people wrong. He'll become a really good player. Uh, Maro uh, Zarate. And I saw him play for QPR against Burnley. Came on as a sub. He's now on loan at QPR. And I've got a shiny. Woo! And it's Wes Morgan from uh, Leicester City. Relegation rivals with us at the minute. They're right at the bottom of the table. Uh, which is a bit of a shock. I thought they were one of the teams to come up that were going to do really well, actually. And I think along with a lot of other people, and they've been really struggling. Uh, a lot of people expected that to be us, but uh, no one's happier than me about that, that we're not doing too bad, and we're out of the relegation zone now. So, so far, I've not got any swaps, so that's a good thing. Uh, second pack, we've got Federico Faggio from Tottenham. Don't really have any views on him. Uh... And a Liverpool player, and Liverpool are kind of my second team, so I'm excited to get another Liverpool player. I've just got a couple of packs downstairs as well that I opened with my girlfriend, because she's whinging, saying oh, she wanted to open some packs with me, so I did that with her, so that's why I've only got four. And that's Ricky Lambert, so that's a good one for me, because he's a Liverpool player. And I've got uh, Ashley Young, so another Man United player, and I suppose that's not too bad, I need him. Uh, Miles Jedinak, he's just been injured on international duty, so a little bit of bad news for the uh, Crystal Palace fans. And the final one, Mark Wilson uh, for Stoke. And I've got two more packs. I'll just go through these really quickly because I don't want this video to be overly long and boring. But just as I'm doing this, on the subject, the big subject for the video is that everybody has got to have had a sticker book, right, at some point. In your childhood, you have got to have had a sticker book. And my big ones that I remember are the Premier League sticker book, as I've already said, and getting the WWF sticker books. And I'm saying WWF because it was WWF back in those days. And I remember it. The, the one I had, the earlier one, and me and my brother used to fight like cat and dog over the stickers and stuff like that. Like my brother used to... He was the older brother and he was the bigger, stronger one and he used to bully us like hell. He used to steal our stickers and uh, if we had got in it, you had to smuggle them into the house. If he saw, if he smelt stickers on you, he, he'd take them off you. He'd open them all and take out any that he needed and then give you the rest back. And if you tried sneaking out of it, he'd check your sticker book and if you put any in him without him knowing, he'd rip them out of your book just to teach you a lesson. So that's how my childhood went. It was pretty dog eat dog. But they're the two that I remember wrestling. And also, um, Jurassic Park was huge back then. And I had the Jurassic Park sticker book as well. So they're the big ones that I remember. But I would be interested to know what are the big sticker books that you remember from your childhood. So it would be great to have some participation from you on that one. Uh, I've got half of the Hull team photo. Uh, Edin Hazard, that's a good one. You know, a good player, really exciting talent in the Premier League. And another Chelsea player, uh, Samuel Eto'o, old hand. No, Everton, what am I on about? Chelsea, he did play for Chelsea, that's why. But uh, old hand there at uh, Everton. And that's Liverpool in action. And this is my second shiny, and it's Newcastle United's team badge. That's an all right one to have. I don't mind Newcastle. I had a great time when I went up to watch... Burnley play in Newcastle, and the fans, uh, uh, real um, great fans as well. Credit to the club that uh, I saw some fans and you know I shook hands and everything like that after the game and said it was a great result for us. They were pretty much the same when they came up to Burnley. We saw a couple of them and you know I had a good talk with them and things like that. So pretty decent fans as well, the Newcastle fans. And uh, the last pack, I've got a kit. I've got the um, QPR kits. That's my third kits. I've got the Burnley kits, the Liverpool kits, the Arsenal kits, and now the QPR kits. Uh, another Chelsea player, and this one actually is a Chelsea player, and that's uh, like Remy. Another all right signing for them, good player. I wish that Liverpool had uh, signed him. And an Arsenal player, uh, Mikel Arteta. So not too bad. 
and I've got an Arsenal in action thing and another shiny and again I'm distraught though because still no Burnley players what the hell is happening with my packs I've still not had a Burnley player but I have, I'm very happy to get another shiny and it's the guy who was in amazing form he scored a goal against us first game of the season and it's Diego Costa and he has been a really good striker he's came, came into the league flying for Chelsea but there have been my uh, stickers. That is my latest little obsession that I'm going through, as well as my gaming. But like I said, don't forget, if you have any memories of sticker books and things like that, uh, please let me know what yours were. But that's all I've got time for on this video. Thank you for watching. Anybody who does watch and any great feedback that you leave, it's much appreciated, or any likes or anything like that. Anything that helps what I'm doing here, it's really appreciated. I honestly mean that. Anyway... Thanks a lot guys and that's all for this video.